A, it's the bleeding wrecking ball. B, you haven't had your bleeding cue yet. And C, you're going to bleed and kill someone. <laughs> Tie it off and pay a bleeding attention. One, two, one, two, oh, who will unblock my sink? I'm rather tired of asking. <laughs> OK, Tom? Uh, remind me later. Uh, uh, I've got a compressed air thing here. Oh, I'll get my jacket on. I'll never manage the ballad. Uh, clip, please. Hang on. The cue for the wrecking ball is Mrs. Overall. Did you steam this, Donna, or something? Has it shrunk? <laughs> no, dear, you fibbed about your cup size. <laughs> My bra is a C. I dare say it is. You'll put a two-pound loaf in a one-pound tin. Don't make it a one-pound loaf. <laughs> So the line ends, Acorn Antiques is finished. Unfinished, you let it go. Yes, so the one with the tray, Bobby, when she says, blah de blah de blah de blah Acorn Antiques is finished, you let it go. Have you got that, Bobby? When she says, Acorn Antiques... Actually, she's quite likely to forget to say it, so whoever says it, whoosh, let it go. Right, just to warn you, John, the revolve. It might work, and it might not. I can't give you any more, Tom. I'm sorry. Sorry, John, I had to get the... Oh, Bo's Ribita. Bo's hemorrhoid cream. Your head is so far up Bo's backside, I'm surprised her piles haven't applied to be rehoused. <laughs> Actually, that's quite offensive. Good. When theatre works, it is offensive. OK, get me a lem sip. <laughs> Two minutes. Oh, Bo, please, we're up against time. Will you get your mic on? Well, I suppose I shall have to, as I see the others can't manage without them. But really, for me, I mean, I have never needed a mic. When little Mickey Crawford and I did the Pirates of Penzance at Drury Lane, I had business with a parasol and I could still get my Mabel up to the gallery. <laughs> All from here. Uh, how's the little doggy, Miss Pearl? Not good. Oh, hey. It's lottery day, though. Today he likes that. Does. Oh, oh, Alan, uh, don't forget Jeepsy. You see, listen to the Jeepsy violins. Yes, it's more romantic. I shall be watching from the wings. What to do to die today at a minute to two to two? What to do uh, to Bo, die? The lipstick, it's too much. For poor quoi? Uh, Mrs. Overall's old. She's depressed. It it doesn't make sense. John, it is theatre. It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> Does Pinter make sense? No. Now, look. You... No, 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 you look. I am willing to recreate Soap's most affectionately cherished character on stage, nightly. In we call my knock powers. In spite of a very painful domestic crisis. That's seat right down to the front. Come on. And a below-the-waist ongoing medical situation. Plenty of room. What fresh hell is this? These are our first night as the Enoch Powlers. <laughs> the Enoch, as I call them. They come to every public dress rehearsal. Uh, well, excuse me, mate. This is not a public dress rehearsal. Sorry, mate. It is. It's in the brochure. Uh, mind that seat, Arnold. That's the wonky one. Just move Look, it. respect brochure-wise, we're having a few problems not here. Too late, not too late. Not too late. That's it, right down to the front. We've seen it all, haven't we, girls? <laughs> seen Bobby Crush thump Isla Sinclair. <laughs> what a head of gobbler that was. <laughs> now, are we all comfy? Uh, Hutch, you walk in, Kath. Someone can trip. Do you want to kick off, John? Tell them what they're seeing. They're seeing her. Goodbye. Nobody look at me. <laughs> Caught in my disappear as I am. Gorgeous. How kind. Now, I shall be brief. We're all champing at the bit to entertain you. But I'll just warn you, the first few minutes are a little bit modern. <laughs> but just you wait, and I think you'll hear a couple of things that you can hum along to. <laughs> Enjoy. A true lady of the theatre. <laughs>